all right so let's start with the plane scale it up control a and apply the scale let's subdivide it a few times and also add a subdivision surface modifier Now create a geometry node setup and in the editor let's add a set position node. Now let's add a position node and separate this node into XYZ. Let's take the X vector and again combine it with the Z position and plug it to offset. Now let's add a math node and set it to cosine. This gives us this wave kind of effect. Now let's duplicate it, set it to multiply. So with this we can control how many of these patterns do we want. Now let's trim this effect with a proximity object. So let's add a UV sphere and let's pull this sphere inside our geometry node editor. Set it to relative and let's add a proximity node. Plug the geometry to geometry. Now let's duplicate our multiply node. Plug the distance to the multiplication. Let's duplicate it once more and plug it in between our Z input. Now here let's add a map range node and also a float curve node. Now let's invert this float curve and let's set this map range around this sphere. Now you can see the subtle effect over here but you can increase this effect with this multiplication value. Okay, now let's give this bump a little bit of bend. So I'm gonna duplicate this cosine node set it to sign and clamp it. Now here after the separate XYZ node, let's add a math node and set it to subtract. This gives the position of the bump. Plug this to the sign input. Now let's add another multiplication node and an add node. Now after cosine, let's add another multiplication and plug this multiply to the add node. Now this multiplication is coming from our proximity. So I need another one for this sine node. So let's duplicate it. Plug the proximity multiplication here and our add node here. Finally, plug this to the X node and this gives a little bit of bend to our pump. You can control the position and angle from these values. Now let's add some surface noise to this. So add a noise texture. and plug the position node to the vector. Now again add a multiply node, plug the factor to multiply. Let's pull another add node, plug this multiplication to the add, so it gives the noise here. And also I want to add this after this cosine. So in between the cosine and final multiply, let's plug another multiply node and pull another add node. In this add node, 
I'm going to plug the noise directly. Let's set the noise to 4D. And I'm going to reduce this multiplication value and decrease the scale. All right, so this is the final setup. Now you have a lot of control in this. So for example, these multiplication values give you control over bump height and bump angle. Similarly, this is the proximity height and the surface noise. And of course, you can just place the proximity sphere anywhere and it gives you different results. Okay, so now let's create material for this. So I'm going to use Blender Kit for the materials. Let's search for a moss material. I'm going to use this one. So select your object and click on the material. You might get this extra UV map. So delete this auto UV map. For now, I'm going to unplug this displacement and this bump. Let's reduce the scale. Now let's search for a rock texture. And I'm going to use this rock real texture by Pritham. And again, you can just delete this auto map. So now you have two materials. So I'm going to mix these two together. So let's go to the moss material. Select all the node setup and copy it in the rock material. Now here, let me just disconnect this displacement as well. Now here is the moss material output and this one is for the rock. So let's join these together. So control shift and right click drag to make a mix shader node. Now for the factor, we are going to use the geometry node. So let's add a geometry node. And I'm going to take the normal output, separate it. Now take the Z output and plug it to a color ramp. And plug the color output to the factor. So this gives a mixing based on the Z normal of the faces. So right now it is opposite. So let's flip our color ramp. And you can control this with this color ramp value. And of course you can control the mapping through these mapping nodes. To put together a scene, I have downloaded this Batmobile model by Mohammed Hussain from Sketchfab. So here is the scene. Uh, I have converted these GeoNode setup into individual geometry. And by copying and pasting these together, I have put together this scene. And for the car, I have used Riga car add-on to animate this and I have used multiple camera setups to render different shots. The final scene is rendered in cycles and as always this geometry node setup file is available to download for free. I'll put the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.